was preparing for a trip to America. He was going for two months. He was wondering what the weather would be like. Each night, he would listen to the American TV channel's weather forecast to help him decide what clothing he would need to take to Minnesota in the winter months. Right, very good. The student was preparing for a trip to America, getting ready, doing everything he needed to do to get ready to prepare for the trip to America. Boom. Okay, go ahead. The student was preparing for a trip to America. He was going for two months and was wondering what the weather was be like. This night, she would listen to the American TV channel weather. Forget to help me. Decide what person he was going to take to Miss Dota in the winter months. Right, very good. Good job. Each night he would listen to the American TV channel's weather forecast to help him decide. Okay, so. Thank you. The student was preparing for a trip to America. He was going for two months and was wondering what the weather would be like. It might he would be sent to the American TV channel's weather forecast to help him decide what clothing he would need to take for Minnesota in the winter months. May I ask you to Minnesota, Minnesota, what's that mean? <laughs> Minnesota is a state. Oh, yeah. In America. <laughs> Minnesota, right up there. <laughs> it is a state in America. There are 50 states. One of them is Minnesota. You have Hawaii and Alaska and Pennsylvania and many others, and then you also have Minnesota. Good job. Oh, <laughs> he thought I didn't know what Minnesota was. That's why he asked the question. Exactly. Yeah. He, he thought maybe he doesn't know what Minnesota is. <laughs> <laughs> so are there any other, <laughs> other questions uh, other than what's Minnesota? TV channels? The forecast looking ahead. So the student, the young man, he was, let's say, uh, uh, in college, a freshman, maybe, at the university, and he was getting ready to go to America, preparing. What is he doing? He's preparing. He's getting ready for a trip to America. He was going for two months, 60 days, more or less, and was wondering what the weather would be like what the weather would be like. And each night, he would listen, listen, and watch the American TV channel's weather forecast, the prediction of what the weather would be like in America on a particular day. The weather forecast. To help him make up his mind to mm -hmm. decide what clothing, what, what items of clothing he would need to take to Minnesota, the state of Minnesota, which is in the northern part of the country uh -huh. and is in the winter months very, very cold. Duh. Cold. Cold. Very cold. Cold. He would need to take to Minnesota in the winter months. Uh -huh. Winter months. Uh -huh. Any questions about the words? The meaning of the words? Oh, each night, 
Where, where is it? Would be like? Would be like, oh, would be. Okay. The, 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 the third one. The weather would be like. The, the, the third. The third. Yeah. Oh, the weather would. Okay. He was going for two months, and was wondering, thinking, hmm, boy, I wonder. I'm, I'm trying to decide what to take. I'm trying to make up my mind. Basically, I'm wondering what to do. So he's thinking about it and what the weather would be like. In other words, how will the weather be on the days that I'm in Minnesota? What will it be like? What will it be like this? Very, very cold. Oh, so maybe I should take a heavy coat, a gloves, a hat and a scarf to wear to Minnesota in the winter months. Oh, and also a pair of boots for the snow. So, what clothing he would need, what the weather would be like. You can't imagine? Well, sometimes if you've never been to Minnesota, it's very difficult to imagine how cold it is. Because if you're not familiar with cold weather like Minnesota, you can't imagine what it would be like. I can't even think of what it would be like in December in Minnesota. That's why, as I say, most of the people in Minnesota come to Arizona in the winter because it is so Any other questions about this? Eat nine. Eat, eat nine. Eat, 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 eat. Who's saying that? You? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very hard to pick out the eat, eat, eat. What? What's the question? What? What? What does what mean? Yes. Why? You know, each night. Each night. Oh, each night. Oh. <laughs> what, what does eat, 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 eat? Oh, okay. Each night, each night, every night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, each night, and every night, he would sit and watch the TV, whether for him to decide what to take to Minnesota. Thank you. Each night. Each night. Each night. Every night. Each night. Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday. Each night, I watch the weather forecast, and then I decide what clothes to take to Minnesota. Each night. Huh? Yeah, well, each day, or each night, or each morning, or each afternoon. Each month. Each month. Yeah. Each year, each century. Yeah, each night, every night, Monday night, Tuesday night, all through the week. Any other questions about the words or the meaning or the pronunciation? Channels, channels, beside, clothing, wondering, wondering, thinking about it. Just can I can imagine thinking. What? What was it? Wondering and suspicion. 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 Well, they're not connected. A sus well, first of all, suspect. Sub, uh, what was sus suspicion? Suspicion, P I O N. Suspicion, P I T I O N. Suspicion, suspicion. Suspect, he is suspect. It is considering, it isn't like wondering, it's not exactly like uh, the, the second, the second 
It's not exactly like uh, wondering. Suspect and suspicion. It's a little bit of suspect of it. A suspect could be a person who's a person who was considered uh, a possible person who committed a crime. He is a suspect in the robbery. In other words, the police have a suspicion. Suspicion, the police have a suspicion. They have an idea based on some certain information that he committed a crime. He is a suspect in the bank robbery. They think he did. They, there's a suspicion that he possibly robbed the bank. We can't prove it just yet, but we have an idea and we're investigating to see if the suspect is the one who actually did the robbery. He is under suspicion, thinking about it. And, and, and in a sense, it's close a little bit to wondering in the sense that the police are wondering if he did it. But it's a little stronger than wondering. They have information that they believe that of all the people possible, he's the one. And they, the police, in a sense, are wondering, did he do it? Did he not do it? Did he do it? it it's a little bit close, but not exactly the same. Was that? Suspect. What? Suspect? I mean, for the word suspect, right? I mean, negative sense. Oh, yeah. But what do you more general? Oh, yeah, wondering. You can wonder about the weather. You can wonder about what's happening uh, down the street tomorrow or something. But a suspicion is a, is a, yeah, a kind of a negative belief, you know, like something is wrong. I have a suspicion that maybe he did it. The suspect in the case of the robbery. You know, so it's not a positive thing. It would be a kind of a negative thing. Really. But a suspect. Any other questions about this stuff? Okay, we'll move along.